Uh, here's an idea that I got from a, uh, a recent book by Chuck Silverman called The Latin Rudiments. Um, what it is, it's a phrase of seven uh, using flam rudiments. And the, uh, the two, there's two flam rudiments, flam tap and a Swiss Army triplet. It starts out with a flam tap, a Swiss Army triplet, and another flam tap. So it's a right flam tap, a left Swiss Army triplet, and a left flam tap. So a flam tap, by way of review, it's an alternating, it's an alternating rudiment. Okay, so that's important to understand to understand the sticking positions that, that are to be utilized. So I start out with a right flam tap, a left flam uh, Swiss Army triplet. So a Swiss Army triplet is a non-alternating rudiment. And the difference between the two, between a flam tap and a Swiss Army triplet, is in the execution of the flam. In a flam tap, we use an alternating flam, which means I have a downstroke for the primary note and an upstroke for the grace note. Put together, when I execute a Swiss Army triplet, it's a non-alternating flam. So the, the primary note is still a downstroke, but now the grace note, instead of being upstroke, is just a tap. And the reason it's a tap is because it has to be positioned for the next right, which is also a tap. So it's down, tap, tap, down, tap, tap, or down, up, tap, if you think about what the hands are doing. Down, up, tap, down, up, tap. So I have this. way to learn it is to learn it in seven. Just think of it as a seven, eight uh, exercise. One, two, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, if it sounded like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a good way to start. That's the easiest way to learn it. <clears throat> the next um, example is we take that same rhythm, but we put it into sixteenth notes. And what we're going to do with the f we're going to do is just play sixteenth notes, sixteenth note pattern with the hands. And instead of playing an alternating pattern with the hands, I'm going to use the seven uh, the seven note phrase within that uh, subdivision. So it sounds like this. On top of that, I'm going to put the feet in four. So I'm going to play the right and left foot in unison on the beat. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So it's a great independent coordination exercise because basically the rhythm is going over the bar line and the feet and the hands don't necessarily align. So you have to really give a lot of thought to the pulse. You have to hear that 16th note pulse inside of you like you're an internal metronome. And then just concentrate on playing that hand pattern over that. So I'll play that a little faster now with the feet. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. sound. The second variation using 16th notes would be to change the foot pattern and uh, use the, uh, the samba foot pattern. And 
then play the same hand pattern over that. spice it up even more and just put accents on different beats, right? So like this, for example, put the accent on the Swiss Army. would be to use uh, the pattern, the seven note phrase, over an eighth note triplet pattern. It would sound like this. One, and I'm going to use basically a, uh, the standard jazz foot pattern, four on the floor on the bass drum, and two and four on the hi-hat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Sixteenth note triplet, and what I'll do is play the feet as eighth notes. One and two and. Sort of my approach to uh, taking Chuck's original idea and sort of expanding it.